Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play lead guitar. And actually, I'm going to show you something that I just actually made up myself. I just figured something out. I didn't learn this from anybody else, um, but I just I just come up with a new technique. I'm going to call it the Garber technique. People might already do it. I looked up after I figured it out. I looked it up and see, you know, it's called something like multi-tapping finger picking or multi multi finger tapping but this is unique and again I didn't learn this from anybody else I was just trying to I was experimenting and then I came up with this and I'm not you know I've only done I've only done it for a few minutes you know I'm not, I'm not even mastered it yet but it's really cool it has a lot of potential okay so what it is here's how it sounds Pretty cool. Again, I haven't mastered it, but I just came up with this. All right, so what I'm doing here um, on this particular these particular notes, I got my pointer finger on the um, sixth fret of the high E. I got my ring finger on the seventh of the eighth fret of the high E, and I got my pinky on the tenth fret of the high E. Okay, now, now I'm taking my fingers and I'm putting my ring finger of, of my right hand on the thirteenth fret of the high E and I'm putting my middle finger on the 12th fret of the high E and I'm holding the pick you know because I just I've learned to tap when you're holding the pick okay and then what I'm doing is and here's the key of the whole thing you know normally you know if you do a normal like let's say I just do it from the, the 12th fret normally a tapping is like this and all that is all that is is you know you, you tap you tap the 12th fret of the high E Tap and you do a tap and a pull off by pushing it down. That's the key part of this. So you do that. Then you, just, then you just pull off from the pinky to the um, ring finger. What I'm doing now, what I just was figuring out, is I'm doing this. Before I even do the other part. Again, I just came up with this, so I'm not having even mastered it. So now what I'm doing is I got my thumb over the top three strings. before I even get to the other hand. So again, all I'm doing is I'm hammering down with my middle finger, my ring finger on the, on the 13th fret of the E. I'm hammering down with my ring finger on the 12th fret of the high E. And then I'm doing that pull off where I, you know, pull off where you, you basically just push your finger down and pull, like, pick the string with that finger. And you just get it fast. Again, I haven't mastered it, I'm just now working on it, but it already sounds pretty good. So then when we add the rest of it... <laughs> yes, I'm going to call it the Garber Technique. I don't know. Nobody else, nobody else taught me this, and I kind of came up with myself with my own little way of doing it. And so I'm going to call it the Garber Technique. The Garber Tapping Technique. Maybe it'll stick, maybe it won't. But hey. I want to call the name, just in case nobody else has come up with this yet. I'm sure they have, but I can still call it the Garber Tapping Technique. All right, so anyway. So that's what you're trying to do. Let me just do it fast. And then you can do the different, you can configure your, your fingers differently. I've just got that one, but then you can, you can, you know, this has a lot of potential because you can do just about anything. 
But again, at my stage, I'm just trying to get the finger on my right hand. I'm trying to get the right hand together. And these two notes are right together, but you can still do it. Like even if you put your, you could do it, put a, a fret between on the uh, between the two fingers on the right side, and you can still do it. It's not that much difficult, more difficult. I'll see like a. I'm pushing down on my thumb. I can feel my thumb hitting the thing. So I'm not, I'm not really sure how I'm getting the, the leverage, but I, I, it has something to do with me. My thumb, my thumb is hitting the thing. It's so cool. Once I get it right, it's so cool. But I love how that sounds. Again, you can just experiment which one sound, what you know, what notes sound good. And the original though is. All that is is this slow down. I'm sure somebody else has come up with this, but anyway, I just thought it was funny because nobody taught me. I just kind of was experimenting. I was running a new song and I did some solos, and I'm trying to do some kind of unique solo. And then it's kind of, I was like, if I could just do this, and did it a couple days ago, and I couldn't do it at all. But then as time went on, I got a little bit better at doing it. And I was like, you know, maybe if I practice enough, I'll be able to get that that two finger thing going on. So enough, if I keep on doing it. It opens up all kinds of possibilities. You can do three fingers even. I'm gonna try that yet, but hey, just for just in case somebody else came up with that. Multi-finger, why don't we try three or four? But anyway, the two is enough for now. Yeah, I'm just putting my, my thumb, my my my, uh, my palm on the guitar. And I'm using my Ring finger and middle finger on those two frets, the, the tw 13th fret of the tw 12, 13th fret of the E and the 12th fret of the E. Tapping down, tapping down again with the other fret, pulling off with this. I'm not doing that. You can do that. There's. That's easier. But it's still cool. I'm just doing this. It's almost like I'm going. You know, you put your, you know, you put your hand in your desk and you're like, you know, you're going. It's kind of like that. Something like, you could probably use your pointer finger as in your middle finger instead. I'm more comfortable using the ring finger and the middle finger at this point. And this also makes it where you could, you could theoretically hold your pick. So there you go, man. That's a new. Uh, you, this this video will be under the you know lead guitar lessons. This is a new new thing I'm learning, and hopefully you can pass it on. And you know, I'm thinking if if you haven't learned this already. And you just start messing with it, and you're, you know, you could come up with some really cool things, and you can put the videos down here on my comments and go, look what I can do with this. Woo! You know, I think this has a lot of potential. And so, anyway, again, it was unique to me, and so I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, this can shed some light on some cool new ways to uh, do some tapping. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe to these videos, that'd be great. Thanks.